it's, it's real special. Now, people be wondering why the show is for real niggas. It's because we bring real niggas on this motherfucker. And if you don't believe me, we got Mack Truck in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the Michael Harris in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad you fellas could could join us, man. Yeah, what, what, what what's new going on? Man, we just ready for the new year to start. New get back in the game, you know, uh-huh. knock some things out. So, like, how you how you feel how the boxing how boxing is going right now? Like the state of boxing, rather. It's in a great place. You think it's so? In a big year of boxing, all big fights. Uh huh. Yeah. Great place. Yeah. You same. feel the same? Yeah, definitely for sure. Who who who? Some of the fights this year that you felt like took it up. You know what I mean? Terrence Crawford. Yeah. yeah, I think I think Bud is in a in a league of his own yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, for, for the moment. For yeah, for the moment. But it's like even to the fact I I love watching tank fights and stuff like that. But you mm-hmm. you think it'll ever get to like the I think heavyweights yeah. is the like the fights that I enjoy watching more. It's than, Christmas. Huh? Christmas. Like two days for Christmas. Number heavyweights on the court. Yeah, they got one next month. Next month. Well, this yeah. month. On the twenty third. Yeah, tw- twenty third. Number heavyweights on the Number heavyweights. Number heavyweights. Number heavyweights. Uh, yeah. Yep. In Saudi Arabia, that's gonna be crazy. Saudi Arabia. They getting they pain that's people the out there. Fight. Man, they finna make yeah, so many Yeah, Water, millions. Joshua, Big Baby, the boys, all that. Yeah. So yeah. Good so out of that, who you who you see who you what fight you rather uh you waiting for? Water. Nah, nah. The boys and and Darrell Miller. I sparred both of them. So for real, yeah, how was that? It was good. Big, big Baby, these, that motherfucker big. But the boy, yeah, I man. bet he is. That motherfucker throwing me around and everything. Yeah, he like three fifty. He like three fifty. Solid. So tell me this: with the sparring, do yeah. they tell y'all like you know be, be at a fifty percent seventy five percent? I mean, you kind of could feel it. Like you when you when you first come, like if you know you find somebody like they like you could tell like all right, he on some chill shit today. But then sometimes you got the motherfucker like you hit him with some good shit. Yeah. It's the you could you could feel it change like oh yeah. So shit that sparring could turn into a real match. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. It, it, it's shit, possible. I done sparred all the killers, <laughs> so shit, I know. You sparred who? I done sparred Tank. I done sparred Shakur and that nigga. Man. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Tell me the Tank story, bro. Bro, shit, which one you want to go? Which one you want to talk about shit, first? Best one, nigga. The best one. You know I gotta go. Nah, my, you can tell all. Nah, I gotta go with my boy Tank, so I start off with him first. Okay. Um. I've been on Tank for a couple of years, uh-huh. and um, I always tell him because he the one that like brought me into boxing and things like that. He gotcha. put me on. Shout and, out, um, real nigga. Yeah, for sure, real nigga. And um, pretty much, I used to tell him I'm like, "Yo, I want to spar you." He'd just be laughing at me like, "Nah, you don't want to spar me. You see what I do? I'm like, yeah, I want to spar you. I want to spar you." So then one day he was like, "All right, fuck it, we go." First round, he bullshit. He playing right. He just smiling. I said, "No, nah, I want to spar for real." So. So you I'm, keep asking for this. I'm shit. asking, like, even though we spar, I'm like, nah, let's go. I ain't for real. never seen a nigga just walk in. <laughs> like, nigga, knock me out. Nigga, stop all this bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh just end up, man. Pretty much, you know, we we was rocking. Uh-huh. You feel me? And after that, he just showed a lot of respect to me. And you he held your hump on though. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Okay. And uh, you know, he picked me on. Like right after that, he flew me out to Baltimore. He was like, he looked at me back to hop in the car. He was like, I wanna sign you. For real? Yeah. Mm. And um, he was like, I want you to fight on my cards. And that's what it was. My first fight was in Baltimore. He did a homecoming a couple years ago. Uh-huh. And then my second one with him was um, in Atlanta. His first time coming to Atlanta. Yeah. I fought under that as well. Hey, yeah. but you know, he probably seen like, oh, he got heart. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of well like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga thought he was shooting Creed 6. <laughs> nah, nah. Fight for real. Yo, 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 what's up, man? It's your boy Nav Green from Broken Play. And I'm back again with prize picks. And right now, I'm in the give and move. And when I say the give and move, it's the right, perfect time to make NBA picks on prize picks. Getting started is so easy. Look, if you don't have an account, what you waiting for? If you register right now for an account, make a deposit. Prize picks will match whatever you bring up. And you make a deposit, you pick more or less on two to six player stats to win payouts of up to 25 times your entry. So if you do six for a flex pay and you get all six right, that's 25 times your money. Man, what's a bigger gift than that? So if you deposit $100, they're going to match your $100. So now, if you put 100 do a six pick and all of them hit, that's $2,500. I don't 
don't care where you are and what you're doing right now. Anybody can use $2,500, especially if you know sports. So with the NBA going on, even if you deposit $60, 60 times 25, and then they're going to match your $60. Go right now and head over to prizepicks.com and register. It's available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Download prizepicks.com, man. We're in the giving mood. Use the promo code Broken Play. And that's what it's for. When you sign up, Broken Play going to get you some money, and we're going to have fun today. Happy holidays to you, man, from Broken Play. But so look, when you... So how how many rounds did you spar on? Uh, about six rounds, man. About six rounds? Yeah, but like with Shakira and Devin Haney, I was actually in camp camp with them. So, oh. shit, I was there for like a whole month straight. Every three days, every other day we sparring. So... Damn. Yeah. That sparring to take a toll out of nigga. I'm like, all right, I'm off today, nigga. Hey, trust. Hell yeah. Shit. I don't, you know, so like all three of them, so, you know, obviously all three of them put them, all the three of them are in like, you know what I'm saying, the same conversations all the time. Yeah. Based on you sparring and working out with all three of them, who is the best out of all three? Man, like I tell everybody, all three of them good, but honestly, I don't think nobody messing with Tank. Um, Devin did look sharp as hell the other day. He uh -huh. did. He redeemed um, his real sharp, sure. and he is sharp. And Shakira same as well. They they both sharp. Um, but I feel like this Tank got more of that dog and then more of that killer instinct. So yeah. it come really come down to it. And of course he got that crack. Uh -huh. You know, he hit you. It could be lights out. You know, <laughs> but my hats off to Devin Haney and Shakira too. You know, they box very well. But now nah, you're just defense. being like straight up. Tank, tank find that shot. Then yeah, it's, it's just like it's a switch. It's just hit instantly. Like he, yeah. at any moment. He and nigga, you that wanted that switch. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't kill ass. No, 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 none of that bullshit. Even <laughs> with the switch. <laughs> nah, I just ain't gonna lie, man. I just wanted to see what the power was really like. Yeah, yeah. You know? See what that's you... been my boy. So I done seen him put some boys on their back. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So for sure. I just wanted to like. I don't know. Mm. Maybe I'm a little crazy. Besides boxing, like, did y'all have any, y'all grew up playing any other sports? Yeah. Football. What you play, Metro? Football. You look like you got Yeah, facts. Like, <laughs> yeah. Play football. Nigga, get a nigga. Full hell back something, line. yeah. <laughs> yeah I play. When I moved down here, that shit, it was too serious. We in, we in middle school. They, hey, we in the weight room. Like, hell no, nah, I'm trying to play the game. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. Nah. It was too serious. I lined up. That motherfucker was 6'3 in eighth grade. I said, oh, hell no. Nah, you think that shit serious when you was in middle school? That shit's so serious. Now, yeah. these kids be eight, nine years nah, old. No, as soon as you hit eight, Training it's, on. All it's, a it's on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. They traveling and shit, all kind of shit. Yeah, it's it's too on. serious. Yeah. So, where you had moved from? from? I'm born in Colorado, Denver, Colorado. Okay. So, I was out there. I played football. We were sorry as hell. We yeah. lived out three years. We only won two games. So, <laughs> so it went, no, you knew you going to get your snack after the game. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was, I was the yeah. best player on the team. So I don't want to yeah, some of the kids, it be like, they just meeting friends and shit like here. In Atlanta, yeah. fuck that friend shit. Nigga, go out there and do something. Yeah, they or was. you and your mama got to find y'all another park. Yeah. Yeah. Now that shit here <laughs> around here. So, when you move here, did you get in a lot of fights and shit? yeah. It's out for Denver. All right, man. It's Denver kind of like a, it's, a, it's you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a Caucasian state uh -huh. at the time. So everybody come, oh, he proper. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing, like, name brand one of the thing. Like, when I was a little, like, sixth, sixth grade, eighth grade, I don't even wear no name brand. So I'm wearing basic shit. Really, shit my I, people can afford. I come to school, they join them. I had some Air Forces. Them bitches was leaning, though, but. They made a whole song in the class. That oh, damn. Yeah, you, uh, hey, when you make a song, you got to walk in I'm talking about they were called a Lean With It Rock, but everybody clapped. Doom, doom. Oh, I stuck his ass. <laughs> I stuck his ass, and that's how I, after a while I just started fighting. Fighting in my Hey, so, but like, you just fighting. You ain't knowing how good you can fight. I don't really know. I'm, I'm just sticking, hitting, psh, say something in your shit. And take then, them little suspension days. And, yeah, I'll take okay. my 10 days. Yeah. This point in time, me and my mom was to spend it at the same time. She got spent from work. We had the crib chilling. Yo. <laughs> I, 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 my daughter, like mom, dude, fighting too. Yeah, she she look crazy, but yeah, she fighting too. We just spend the same time. So, nigga, what what can mama say to him? He done got spent with fight. She got yeah. man. Let me tell you how the bitch tried. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we in the motherfucking break room. Yeah. So, so. but now, so that was up. But then, when did you start taking it serious, like to a level of like competing? All right, so I got a partner. His name Corey from Baltimore. He moved to Atlanta. Uh -huh. He was like, "Bro, you should box, bro. You be already box." So I was like, "Man, I ain't tripping." So I get on, you know, on YouTube, you looking. 
I'm like, damn, I'm gonna do this. I used to boss. I was a boss in Denver, but I didn't really take it serious. So I was like, I'm gonna take it. But you was young though. Yeah, I was young. So I mean, yeah, you just, yeah. you know, I'm on. You was a girls club. You do everything. You right, know? right. Gotcha. So I was like, I'm gonna take it serious. The next thing you know, I was like, bro, I'm gonna do it. He dead now, but you know, he got killed. But my dad was like, hey, I'm gonna take it serious. And after then, I was knocking. I was, you know, I was heavyweight then, so I'm sparring grown men, I'm dropping back to back to back. So I tell and what him, age is this? I'm like 15, dropping. Them. Nigga, so, 15 year old, drop your ass, nigga. You gotta, you gotta, you. hey man, I don't condone <laughs> violence. Nigga, <laughs> tell keep me. that motherfucking pistol on you at all times, <laughs> nigga. So after that, just, he was like, man, you, you got talent, just get in shape. I'm like, all right. Because uh -huh. like that man. boxing condition is a different type of condition. Yeah, it's That's the art, bro. It's yeah, violence. bro, because, um, Honestly, like that's what I do. Is, like when I start trying to shed weight, like mm -hmm. do a little boxing and shit. So when yeah. I went, nigga, we ain't threw a motherfucking punch. This nigga got us skipping around the ring yeah. and just ducking. <laughs> oh yeah, Man, I'm five like, minutes. Yeah, I'm like, your ass. but I ain't yeah. signed up for this shit. I thought a nigga gonna hit the bag. You know what I mean? Shed weight. But that shit a different type of nigga. Be thinking you see them boxers going. 10, 11 rounds, you're like, man, I ain't doing that because it's only three minutes. Yeah. Nigga, do that shit for one minute. <laughs> when they really? tell you just do like, you know, a little footwork, a little, <laughs> little shadow boxing. Nigga, I'll be looking at the clock like, what the fuck? Yeah, so how long did it take you to get in shape though? Like boxing shape? Um, Probably about like, probably like well now I know how to get in shape fast. Uh -huh. Six weeks I'll be ready to fight. But back then, probably about two months. Say I said like two months around right? that time. Uh -huh. So then I started. I'm fun Olympic trials, when the national fun Olympic trials, everything. I was like, man, I'm turning pro. The coach I had was like, man, you. I had a daughter on the way. He like, but you gotta get this money, man. So then we turned pro. Then that's how I have it. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. So you have been locked in ever since. Yeah, I've been locked in. But then they just go to show and some seeing somebody else say, you know, I'm like, you should do this, you should do that, and you went from yeah. there. Because before that, what, what what you was thinking was, about doing? Shit. Football, but I was halfway in football, so it's just yeah, just easy to stop doing yeah, that yeah. shit. Just causing it, causing hell in the neighborhood. That was it. Shit, whooping ass. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. from a lean with it, rock with. Yeah. Just imagine if you ain't, if you would have came fresh as hell, you never had to fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you like, yeah. I'm saying he wouldn't be Metro. How you I get know. a name Metro? Uh, the coach I had was one day. He was like, "We gotta get you a nickname, man." Cause, you know, my name, my real name, Dakar. He was like, that shit too long. I'm not gonna call you that shit. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody know how to spell that shit, man. That shit, I didn't. I'm like, all right. So just one week, everybody, you know, the Instagram popping. They see like, I want to spar him. And they look at me like I could take him. Uh -huh. I'm like, Killing shit. Boom, boom, whole week straight. They say he like, but your name Mac Truck. I was like, I like that. That shit it. And it stuck. And it stuck. And then just after that, it's been the same. The Michael, you ain't, what what, what nickname you got? They call me Trigger Man. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> God, God. <laughs> Mac Truck and Trigger Man. Y'all the two wrong niggas be riding through Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Those two niggas get on a nigga ass. Like, I need to take y'all to the VVS with me. What are these ways? Hey, let me ask though. Like, so, you know, when y'all first turned pro, how was it to experience the politics of boxing? You know, like that, that first, like, kind of experience of seeing. How these fights really work, and you know how these promoters really operate. How was that for y'all? Um, it, it was different. Mine man. was a lot different because I started off. My first fight was on Showtime, and uh, Ooh. so I kind of like seen the real, oh, you know, real stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, as it goes, like the business of boxing, I ain't gonna lie, like it's real grimy. Like it's almost like you in the streets, really. Mm -hmm. So you know, you learn a lot who to stay from and who to stay away from. But as long as you got the right team, you'll be all right. My mom's out. My first fight was in the gymnasium. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're selling tickets. I think my first purse was like $500. So it wasn't no money. So it was just like kind of you just building your name, trying to build I don't that much either. And you was $2,500, though. <laughs> I'm gone on my bill. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like the difference. I was there for his pro debut, and it's just like, you're like, damn, nigga, your first, your first fight is on the tank undercar. We in Baltimore. We at this fancy hotel. Yeah. You know, I was like, damn. And mine's just like backyard boogie shit. I'm like, man. I gotta work harder. So yeah, that's that's kind of and that motivation. Yeah, too. It was motivation. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying, we was we been rocking out since the amateur, so it's like, uh -huh. damn, it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying. So that's kind of different, but I just had to build my way, you know. Uh huh. What them purses looking like now? A long way from five hundred, ain't it? Yeah. Can you yeah, tell yeah, my... yeah, like... Now uh, we had seen we was in Philly and Mac Truck had pulled up on us. Uh, we was at the uh, Carlos Miller show, and I had yeah. noticed then you had dropped a lot of weight. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Cause it's just, just like working. Like in Philly, that's the difference. Like Atlanta, Atlanta. Like don't get me wrong, Atlanta boss. They kind of made me. It made me. So I ain't gonna never like uh-huh. steal credit, Atlanta. But it's levels. You know what I'm saying? I fought. I fought. I fought. I was ranked number fourteen in the row with seven fights. Like I ain't had no. I ain't really had nobody pet me. It was like shit. We gonna throw you in that fire. So I went out there. I fought somebody who just fought for a real title. So it was just kind of like I was out there. So you know what I'm saying? He he like 18 and 0, 7, 17 and 1 at the time. So I'm like, shit. It was kind of like, got to do it. And he beat me. I mean, I beat me. I, now I look back at the fight. It was, it was like I was winning the fight, but it just he knocked me out. Like, uh-huh. and I could do kind of like, like how uh George Foreman did. Like, I gassed out trying to knock him out. I'm hitting on uh-huh. the kitchen sink. That motherfucker ain't going. Was he bro. was he sent? Was he? Did he, did he play it like that? Like he was seeing that I, you was I really gonna let you tire you out? I really can't even know because like I know the round, like two rounds before I got knocked out, I looked over. I said, he was standing up. He sat down. I said, oh, I'm finna get him. Looked, I looked at the coach. Coach like, nah, man, you got to chill. I'm like, nah, I'm finna knock him the fuck out. And then I went out there and that, that was it. I gassed out. Yes, it wasn't even, yeah. it wasn't even nothing like, it wasn't even like that motherfucker better than me. It just... It was I, you. I'm trying to knock that motherfucker. I was yeah. really, I really was like, man, I'm about to get this. But money. you think if you would have listened to the coach type shit, and that would have changed the trajectory too, though, of like, yeah. cause uh you win that fight. I'm probably fighting for a real title, my next fight. Under 10 fights. That's like you ain't never boxing now, you ain't you don't hear about a list of little guys like 10 yeah. fights. I'm probably fighting for a real title. Damn. Yeah. Like it, it was to the point like. Cause I remember Thad, Thad, Chad yeah, was Thad, there. Yeah, everybody was there. Everybody yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, they got the embarrassment of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, be honest, I didn't even know I was knocked out until I went to the back. <laughs> My manager looked at me at the time. He said, "He like, bro, it's gonna be all right, man." I'm like, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> 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 it's gonna be all right, man. We are gonna bounce back. What the fuck you mean? It's gonna be all right. Then I look, I saw my partner, he crying. I said, grown ass nigga crying. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Then I looked at my shorty at the time. She looking at crying. Everybody crying. Like, oh, I know what happened. Damn. So, damn. bro, you didn't yeah. realize until you got it. Like, I didn't even know. Like, when I watched the fight back, I didn't dap the nigga up, walked out the ring. I don't remember none of that <laughs> shit. Damn. So, look, that's why it was somebody who was fighting, and that nigga was talking like he won that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know you what I mean? don't know. Yeah. You don't, it then it's just like, you know what I'm saying? After that, it was like, damn. You, you sit back and look like, damn. But it was, when, you, I, when you mix that shit with exhaustion, bro, like, that yeah, shit. It was, it's over it was just like, bro, everybody like, bro, you was trying to get up. You couldn't even get out. I, I, I ain't even, I was out. But yeah. then I will say this, though, man. Bro, like, don't you appreciate that it happened early yeah. rather than later? And then yeah, it's like real. you could learn from that and just, you know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah, like, take something from that. Like, it, it outside the ring, like, I had so many people around me, like, they gone. Uh, everybody gone. Clear, clear the pal. Everybody gone. Like, my, and I was, like everybody you supposed to keep a circle small, but it was, yeah. everybody was around me. Everywhere I went, I had 50 million people around me, paying for this, paying for that, fake ass friends. You know what I'm saying? Grown people, like, bro, you 40 some years old hanging with me, and I, I'm just, fuck, you cool with shit. Come on. Yeah. It's just how it was. An uh, entourage. At the yeah. Time. You, just, feeling, you feeling the love, yeah, but you, you don't know what kind of love it is. If it's fake or you, real. Yeah. You hear so much. You hear so much. After that fight, them niggas start scattering. Oh. Um. That what you need. By myself, wake up. I wake up. It's just me, my daughter, my mama. You know what I'm saying? It's That's like, and bro. At the end of the day, no, no matter how far you go, bro. When you realize that after like all the materialistic shit, all the money, all that type of shit, yeah. bro, family. Yeah. You can't buy certain shit. Yeah. Even, Even when you get all the money, you could buy all the shit you want in the world, bro. You gotta get old one day. You gotta get sick if you live long enough. Yeah. All that shit gonna be gone. That what it was. That's all you got. You and mama still there suspended. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> still all that shit. No, for yeah, real right though. There. But that good that happened like that though. Yeah. yeah. Who you want to fight next? It's it's just one motherfucker be talking shit on the ground. <laughs> he be talking shit, bro. And I, we already sparred. And I touched him. I just posted him recently. Is it till I touched you up, bro? He just be talking shit. Like, you gonna say on Friday? I'm fucking him up. Who? I ain't gonna say his name yet. Y'all gonna see on the ground. Damn, bro. We needed that exclusive. Yeah, then he, then he, he did. <laughs> he did some bullshit too. What he do? He gonna he gonna he gonna have sent a contract my way. I'm like, all right, you really think you could beat me? Oh, uh, so him. you feeling tried with this? I'm gonna fuck him up. Okay. Nah. He is he undefeated? Yeah, he undefeated. He oh. a kid though. I already touched his, fucked you up, sent you back to Florida. Uh-huh. We ain't do shit. Like, 
Research, get on the see a boxing <laughs> floor. Hey, talk about that too though. Like <laughs> like the bluffing in boxing and like, you know, the contracts and then the, you know, the disrespect you might feel getting a contract offer from, oh, yeah. from somebody. Oh, uh, all right. It's one he was, he was ex world champion. They was supposed to I was supposed to fight him actually after I won the little belt. He sent a contract, but it was like you an ex world champion. You know I'm not from that set. Right, exactly. But you they know, do that on purpose because you know they saying? really just, don't want to fight you. you yeah, know you know what I'm saying? saying? Like that's kind of what it'd be like. It'd be stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that's something I could tell you no without saying no. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just to see. Yeah. Yeah, because all they're they gonna do is be like, well, I sent them the offer, you know what I'm saying? They got that to say, but even they don't they, not, they might not want to fight you, they could be like, Well shit, I gave him the offer and he didn't want to fight me. Exactly. You know what I'm but do you look you look at the numbers, you be like, damn. Yeah. That's it. Nah, you and you can't you can't say yeah to that, bro. That's that's insulting to yourself. You know exactly. what I'm saying? That's how it be. Like you gotta know your worth. Yeah. But do so, if it's somebody that you really wanna fight and they try you on that shit, would you just like fuck it, I'm gonna whoop your ass. I mean, yeah, but it gotta, gotta come with that bag. Yeah, what's it worth? Yeah, it got the time. I gotta be right. Time, time gotta be right. It gotta come with the. You, like, know you can't fight a guy like on a local show and he a good fighter. That don't yeah, make like, sense. Wanna... Y'all both ain't making no money. Mm-hmm. But like, you put it on the TV network, you make some money off of it, yeah. then you blow the fight up. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Hey, so when you know what I'm saying, you on the tank cars or whatnot? What's that first like? That first bag you got? You were like, shit, I gotta go buy this. I gotta buy that. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah. My first, my first check, my little twenty five hundred dollars. Man, I spend it on a girl. <laughs> uh, lessons <Damn>. we learned. <laughs> lessons learned. Uh, I got used and abused, man. She ain't even here no more, man. That's what I did. Nah, that's what they gonna do. But shit, cause look, is this true? <laughs> is this true that when y'all training and y'all going through, y'all don't be fucking? Oh, that's certain. That's certain. I ain't gonna lie. For my pro debut, no lie. For my pro debut, I did it the day before. I fought. I swear. And you still won. Man, I won by a crazy knockout. Oh, so it's like that. <laughs> but shit, some niggas, it moves me up. Too, though. Some niggas might fuck day of the fight, bro. Yeah, that, I ain't that shit. I ain't take... stopping. I can't stop. Like, all right, so me. I was trying to make an excuse, like shit. You ain't had no pussy in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you spend your money on, them. but shit, you you did wild. Yeah. <laughs> God damn! Yeah, that nigga fight for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, whoop the nigga head. Yeah, man. Once that money went out, she was gone. It was over. It went in no secret. Like she just started. She slid on me. Yeah, but see, you you need to take that loss early too. That's cool. Yeah, cause, cause it's like, cause then when them bags that real money, yeah. like, oh, I know how y'all bitches is. Yeah, for real. Oh, we yeah. finna. <laughs> oh, no, what the hell? Nah, it, it was good because it was early, and then I got yeah. the girl I wanted to be with, so I ended up getting engaged to her. Like at on my what? 10, I want to say my tenth fight. Okay, so yeah, this kind of fit it in the ring. So you, yeah, you don't learn from them nine fights. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. You went on and like married somebody, engaged. Though. Yeah. When yeah. y'all gonna get married? <laughs> that engaged that'll slow them down. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question right quick. Like being a are y'all favorite athletes boxers growing up? Nah, nah. mine was LeBron. Cause I'm from Cleveland. So I ain't gonna lie, I love LeBron. <laughs> Shout out a real nigga, man. Yeah, I got I got a few. Uh Aaron Donald, like that's probably like the one I, I fuck with A D. Yeah. LeBron, yeah, yeah. of course, like LeBron the go hands down, like You you think he could have fucked up uh Emane Doka when they got into it last week? Yeah, for sure. You think so? Man, you don't LeBron, think so? I don't think so. I feel like LeBron. I ain't gonna lie. I think LeBron just he's so politically correct that he can't he, he can't he can't do it. Of course. Yeah. But if he could, you think he'll what somebody's at? Hell yeah. Probably, Probably, yeah. break that nigga jaw. LeBron is <laughs> <laughs> at forty years old. He on his ass with shows. Hey, Draymond choking you out like that? <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I would not street fight him. What? I feel like he can really fight. Man, he ugly as hell. He ain't got nothing to lose. Damn. <laughs> I get Facts. his ass. I don't care about none of that. Who y'all favorite boxers like of all time? Um, Mike Tyson. Yeah. Like Mike Tyson. I'm about to go with, like, for me, probably Tommy Hearns and Floyd. Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, so you go back watching old clips and all, yeah, all sure. that? That's what oh, I was already yeah, studying. We, we, we studied yeah. the game. Got yeah. You. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, what what's what's Floyd impact on boxing like mean to y'all? Because obviously, you know, he changed the game, like for the good and kind of for the bad. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, 
people look at their records and they feel like they can't lose, like they duck in fights because they don't want to lose. They want to, you know. Keep I feel that. like that's the messed up part about it though. Like yeah. everybody think they gotta have an O, and like back in the day, that O didn't mean that. Like you could take an L and go fight another champion the next time and be on top of the world again. So I think nowadays, like fighters are always trying to protect the O, and it ain't really about that. You know, that's the yeah. part he messed up on. But I think everybody know that part. But the part he was right about, just making guys, make sure they're getting their money. Make sure mm-hmm. they're getting their worth. Uh, and showing that work, business. though. Showing the work. Yeah. Like, he put in that work, bro. Yeah, he and he's showing you, like, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah like, I know. I, I heard stories like Floyd work hard. Like, bro, you, say, should, you could see them Showtime. Like, yeah. You yeah. see it, bro. Them workouts is crazy. And yeah. They said one time they, they, they worked out. They had like a four-hour training session. Went and ran like seven miles. They said like two hours later, he called another fighter. Like, we got to go run 10 more miles. You're like, damn, nigga, we just got fish with the hell. So, hey, he worked hard. I remember one time, was, I was a young, like, little boy. It was like, you know, Magic City. It was over at Magic City. Uh-huh. And we just, I'm with my mom. We just driving downtown and shit. And we just see a nigga running. But we see fancy cars following him. And we look on the Instagram. It was Floyd. Floyd. So, it was like, like, damn. You could tell, like, he just left Magic City. You could tell, like, one of those times. He had on, like, street clothes. So, I was like, oh, damn, motherfucker running right now. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Floyd different, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like to the point of like, I seen one. He was talking about like he bragging how he talked because he know how he done trained. Like yeah. he, you know what I'm saying? It's different. Like he ain't just talking shit to a motherfucker. Or, I feel like I'm this and that. He was like I train so much that I know. Yeah, I supposed to have this and supposed to do this. So it's yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. So I believe he work hard. You hear stories about it like he motherfucker work hard. The best fight you ever seen, Damn. whether it's on TV, old fight. Live period. Mm, the best fight I ever seen. Man, yeah. that's a hard one. That's a, that's a lot that's of. A, that's a lot of. That's a lot of. Shit, if you, so you saying best fight period? When I say when somebody be like, if you had to pull up and be like, and just show like, now this the best fight between the like just sure. two boxers fighting, you be like this is a good. I say Holyfield versus. Um, his name, like his name was Big Daddy Pauls. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Who you talking about? He, he fought three times in a trilogy. I can't remember. Damn. I was gonna say Diego Corrales versus um, what's his name? When they kept dropping each other. Oh yeah, and he dropped yeah, him at the end. Yeah, then he yeah. knocked him out in the end. That's a good fight too. It was four. What, what's it? What's his name, bro? I can't remember. I can't think of his name. Talking about, I, I done met him and everything. I yeah, they talk about right But you'll say Holy, the they, they, Holyfield. They first fight was probably the, like the greatest fight. Damn, for real. Yeah, Holyfield. Was, uh, do you think Holyfield get the credit he deserved? Nah, nah, he grew, at all. He grew up in, like it's just like Andre Ward. He's not gonna get the credit he deserved. He was in the Floyd era. You know what I'm saying? Holyfield yeah. was in the, the Mike Tyson era. Like Mike Tyson. and Holyfield will beat him though. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's, it's just Mike, it's Mike, that's Mike Tyson, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, don't get me wrong, yeah. nigga. I know. Cause it was like still like Tyson, you gotta think when uh I was coming up age in like 95, 96, 97, like I remember parents and my uncles and everybody meeting up, they gotta see Tyson fight. Yeah. Like Tyson will make motherfuckers spend that unnecessary money. Yeah. To I show like, a fight. I feel like that's how Tank is right now, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, that's everybody. Tank fight? Yeah. One post on Instagram, the world gonna be there. Yeah, Tank, um, we had went to this, uh, you know, like if they show the fight and stuff, people mm. going out buying bottles and stuff, like Tank, he bring that yeah. back to boxing mm-hmm. where niggas be like, yeah, they we gotta watch, watch people it's, it's a event. It's a real Yeah, it's like, a event. Yeah. Gotta yeah. go. Women know about Tank. Yeah. That's what it is. So it's like, I don't think so many women would know about Holyfield. And when I say knowing, like, Women be like, oh, Mike Tyson fighting. Yeah. Women be like, oh, Tank fighting. Yeah. Whether they care about boxing or not, they know to put on some clothes, they want to go see the fight. Tank fight, yeah. Hell yeah. Them women, yeah. bro, women going to want to do, they just want to do shit. They want to be around <laughs> shit. Spend money. I ain't gonna lie. Spend. I wish I would have seen that Mike Tyson era, though. That would have been crazy. People sure. would really go dress up, meet Cokes, and sitting and watching the fight. Like, that's uh-huh. crazy. You think that dressing up aspect is missing from the sport right now? Like everybody getting Somebody fresh, like get fresh? coming to the game, coming to the coming fights. Coming to the, the yeah, fights. Oh, like, like in tuxes and stuff. You know, they used to be in tuxes back then. Oh. Uh, like you don't remember the uh, Muhammad like, Ali, Frank Lucas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah come like, with his yeah. head and stuff like that. Yeah. I played in the, uh, in Jeezy Rick Ross video. It's called uh, Almighty Black Dollar. And they- You was they, in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Boxing in it and whatever. And uh, that's what they did. It like, the, what is that? American Gangster? Yeah, American Gangster. Yeah, uh-huh. they did that little thing. 
I ain't gonna lie. I feel like people should dress up a little bit more in boxing, though. You know, but nigga, right? nigga ain't trying to wear no suit to no goddamn Not like a suit. Because, because but nowadays, it should, it should, should just be more festive. Like, like it's not like basketball or football where we doing this shit every week. It's like it's one fight. Yeah, yeah. these niggas might fight once and like and it's the to big fight. Months, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. It gotta be a good fight. Don't just be yeah. wearing no suit to any nigga fight. <laughs> <laughs> and then get his ass knocked out, and you just sitting there with a suit. You know what I mean? That is bitch done turned into a funeral. What y'all um? What y'all think about influencer boxing? I was talking about like, I, I, was, I don't know. I don't like Jake him. Paul and you know the Pauls. And, I ain't gonna lie, I was just with Jake Paul uh, over the summer in Puerto Rico, um, because me and him got the same trainer. Uh huh. I like it. I feel like he brought a lot of people to the sport to watch sure. it. Like the influencers, yeah, like sure. the internet is the world now. Right. That's how we socialize and everything. So uh -huh. them influencers, I respect to them. I think I think like when it first started, I felt like it was like a mockery a little bit, but now yeah. it's like they take they it see more they serious. gotta take yeah. it serious. Yeah, yeah, and it's more respect, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. they really trying. And Jake was just in a tough fight, we was in uh, Dallas and he fought Nate Diaz. That's Nate Diaz is a killer, like yeah. for real. He can fight. He ain't no boxer, but you put him in the um uh, in the cage, yeah. you know what happened. Right. But it's still a hard fight for a, a guy that never fought a day in his life. Right. You know what I'm saying? And still go out there and beat somebody. So it just shows that these influencers are training, you know, and they working hard and respecting the game. So I I like it. What camp you like being around most? Because I guess you know what I'm saying, you make your way, you yeah. under the uh the tank cards and stuff like that, but like who got them like show love spending? When I say show love, like you seeing things you never seen. Probably, probably the Jake camp. Yeah, For real, we had like a personal show. We eat three times a day. We in a big crib. You know, you in Puerto Rico. Yeah, that was a smooth camp. Like, yeah, probably the best camp I have been in so far. Like for that type of lifestyle. Uh -huh. but when it comes to like real. Um, how can I say it? Like really working hard. They work hard too. Don't get it twisted, but. It was it's a it's a little bit different because I was in Shakur camp uh -huh. and Terrence Crawford was there. We was in Colorado Springs, so it was cold as hell, and we got to run five miles up a mountain, and I got to come back and spar Shakur. After <laughs> running five miles, man, I'm not just up a mountain. Nigga, he ain't even <laughs> got to say up the mountain for me, nigga. It's just running the five miles, nigga. That's it for me for the <laughs> week. And it, was, it was a lot of hard work in that camp. I ain't gonna lie. Damn. So, bro, how how, how you? So it's like that's. You really in shape enough to fight anybody now? Cause like you training with them, you in the same type of uh, shape. Though. Yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. Yeah. Damn, but I ain't gonna lie. In the beginning of the count with your girl, I got my ass whooped. I ain't gonna lie to you. He was fucking me up every day, and then I till I got in shape, and then one day I sparred him. He was like, "This motherfucker in shape now." I was like, "Yeah, and yeah, it was good." I think. So once you got yeah. in shape and stuff. Yeah, man, because I ain't never been into no camp like that. I ain't never worked this hard in my in my life. Bro, five really miles up a mountain? Yeah, that's what I'm and saying. And then say spar. I see if it's Man, different. we go rest for like an hour, then knock on my door, I'm like, time to spar. I'm like, what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's got to work. You getting paid for it. got to work. You running up five miles of a mountain? I mean, I ain't going to no mine. I, I'll, be, I'll be training with Boots, Jerry Ennis, and they they go up the mountain. They be like, they'll send like, hey, Mac. I be, I'm they dad, he's still like. Probably like 60 something years old. He's still running, training, all that. So I'll be running with him, but they be like, they go up the mountain, they run up the hills and all that. Do my five miles on, on flat surface, I'm good. And you be ready to whoop ass. Yeah, I'll be. That mountain ain't gonna change shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> For real, gotta be goddamn. What, what's your goal in this though? Yo, yo, like, when I say goal, not not just overall thinking of like, what legacy does Mack Truck wanna leave in the boxing? Holy. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you look like, height, where you, you can do it. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? People, people, you know, people look at boxers, six pack, and they ripped up, and yeah, I, I'm knocking them the fuck out. Right. You ain't gotta be. You ain't gotta have that look to. You know what I'm saying? You could be a normal dude. Yeah. See, I want I want you to beat all them niggas ass yeah, like, for the chubby the chubby <laughs> generation. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? That's what that's me. Like yeah, generate like because kids, I would you go to go to the kids and talk to them at the middle school, my old middle school, and it's like. Damn, y'all really don't know what y'all want to do. And like, I ain't know what I want to do in middle school. Nah, I did. Uh -huh. Y'all, y'all really don't know what y'all want to do. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do? Well, I don't know. But shit, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to go to college, like, I box. I ain't go to college. Graduate high school, and I'm done. Yeah, but see, sometimes when I'm glad you said even going back to the school, when people see people like that around, yeah. it a light bulb in the head. Oh, he come from where I'm from. Yeah. Or I could do this, or I could do yeah. that, or shit. If I'm always fighting. 
let me see if I could box. Yeah. Because so, finding boxing two different fucking things. Because mm-hmm. you'll see that shit quick. Especially when you put gloves on and you done swung and a nigga done ducked that motherfucker two or three times. Yeah, the, yeah. That fight ain't going to stop. So it. You done got damn gassed out. Now yeah, this nigga now done knocked tired. your ass yeah, out. Tired. Cause yeah. boxing and fighting two different things. Like you can't grab, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. slam a nigga. And then so it's or somebody like, come break it up. It's shit. The record, uh-huh. hey, y'all separate and I go back. I will back. Got yeah. three minutes. So that shit be different. Hey, what, way different. Talk about why talk about like the the uh the process of making a fight happen. Like and why f- some fights don't happen, or why it might take so long? Why negotiation? Like, if, uh, like for instance, the the Bud and Spence fight. That shit was five, six years in the making. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, from y'all perspective, talk about like you know just the process and why some fights happen and some don't. I just think it'd be just the timing of it, um, and just most importantly, probably just the money. Because at the end of the day, the promoters got to make the money. The whole business got to make money. So, if these guys like Spence and Terrence Crawford fighting three years ago when it makes sense three years ago because they're bigger names now. Uh-huh. Now that they fought, it done blew it up. Yeah, the, you know, the money the whole bigger. company that made some money. Uh-huh. So that's really how I just think about you it. Think, you think that's why it's taking so long for Tank and Haney to fight? I really want to say that, but I still feel like the timing ain't right. I, I, I agree. I feel like the timing just ain't right. I agree. Right? But they couldn't make it happen now, but... Yeah, it, would, it wouldn't be on the level of yeah. nowhere near Bud and Spence. Yeah, because Devin near. just had a good fight. Um, Tank always have a great fight, but I think maybe like end of next year. Yeah. So you weeks. know when you hear Bud say he he would want to fight somebody like Tank, how you, what do you take from that? Like Bud, Bud want to fight Tank? Yeah. Not no comment. On Bud a bad motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> But Tank can crack them, you know. Yeah, like it's in it's a given fit, day. To me, personally, it's a 50-50 fight for real. I mean, a lot of people disagree with what I say, but honestly, it's 50-50. Yeah. Like, I just think Bud is smarter than everybody else, bro. I think he so, just was so His much smarter than everybody crazy. else. Yeah. You know, all these fighters are champion for a reason, but there's some guys in this game like, hey, let me stay away from you. You know what I'm saying? You on a whole different level. And that's a person right there. Stay away from Stay, like, let, let that man be. Yeah. So look, man, you being a heavyweight, because I be looking at, you know, when they, they show the boxers, like, you know what I'm saying, in, mm-hmm. in those classes, the motherfucker be like, five, five, 130. When you see that type of shit, you, like, you be thinking, I'll knock this motherfucker <laughs> out. But then you see the motherfucker strong as a bitch. Yeah, I'll fight at 130. For real? Yeah, but I'm six foot. So he's yeah, tall. but yeah, it's so Everybody I fight, they be small. Like, I fight... They, Real short, dude. But sometimes they be having reach and stuff like that, too, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so would you? do you think you got the advantage at being six feet? Oh, yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, a lot of guys ain't going to really take a chance to come in or, you know, I'm using my jab the entire time. Then they do try and come in and throw a right hand. Mm-hmm. Probably sleep, more than likely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what you be thinking about that, Matt, when you be saying, like, the smaller? I go like, that's, that be kind of my harder fights when we For the real? same height. For yeah, real? Yeah, when they taller than me, they oh yeah, smash easy. Probably. Ain't gonna lie. Every time he fight a tall guy, a small tall guy, he beat him up. And then he fight a guy his size, it just never it, works it, out. It, with it him. Be, it be like it's that. the hardest fight for him. It's like that, be a little harder. So yeah, I'll be like, but what makes it like that? I'm just used to always fight somebody tall. Mm-hmm. Like you, just, you fight, you know, I'm heavyweight. I'm short in heavyweight division, so it's like everybody tall, average mm-hmm. six foot five, six six. Yeah, that's it. So it's like, cause how tall are you? I'm five ten. And so it's like, they they punching down at me. I'm sh- 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 I'm walking in, boom, mm-hmm. boom. And they like, damn, they get hit now. But it's like they out. Yeah. So then just be, that's like the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You ever been jumped before? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got, they tried. That's a crazy question. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, for real. Uh, shit, I was walking catching martyr. I that guess was, you know how kids happen. Yeah. <laughs> I guess these kids was like the next person that run through. We taking their shit. I for guess, no reason. I, I guess that was <laughs> it. <laughs> That's yeah, Atlanta, bro. I'm walking. It's raining too. They you tell they pointed, they came. It's like we need all that. I stuck the first one. Bah! And they look, he fell out. And I just took off running. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got jumped off. MLK. Hold up. Got beat up, man. Take you should take this one. That was that. 
When it come back in, you talk about that time. Trigger man. <laughs> Red. So you said you got jumped too? Man, yeah, man. I was a kid. I had to be like 14. I was on MLK. Uh -huh. Just walking. Man, that's thing I know. On the west I got, side. Yeah, I was on the west side. Yeah, that's where we used to live. Man, I got stuck. All I remember is falling, getting beat up, shoes gone. For no reason? <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> so I ended up calling my daddy on the phone, telling him what's going on. Luckily, I stayed like right there. I ain't never seen my parents drive so fast in my in my life. <laughs> the kids running. And my parents trying to run them over. Like, that shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that shit was wild. the fact that y'all are professional boxing, y'all parents with the shit, too. Like, <laughs> to see y'all. So, after that, well, you weren't boxing before that, though, was you? Nah, I wasn't even boxing. I wasn't boxing. I started boxing at 19. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little older. Yeah. So, and, like, already, like, you, you just see the... Do you, like, wish you, like, you would have learned the... The craft at an early age or everything happened uh, for a reason? I used to think like that, but I feel like everything happened for a reason. Because mm -hmm. the only reason I started boxing, because at the time, like, my family, like, we had no money. We were sleeping in the car. Mm -hmm. And it was like a boxing gym, and I would just go. And I just ended up just didn't want to be in the car with them all day. So I'd just be in the gym the whole time, literally, from when it opened till it closed. And I just got good over time. Damn. Yeah. Damn. That shit inspiring for real, cause like you gotta think. Some people use what's going on in their life to like stop them from doing shit. You ain't got no excuses, bro. Yeah, for real. You can figure some shit out. Yeah. And they be like, man, my mama and my dad didn't have this shit. Like, nigga, like sometimes people need to tell and share those stories so people who might be going through that situation, they hear that shit, be like, boy, I should do this or I could be doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, real. for real. That's what's up, though. You said James Tony, he wanted to go to boxing. You had put that. Yeah, that's one of my, that's one of my goals. James Tony. James Tony. Yeah. yeah. Slick. Knock your ass out. I, he used to be on Fox Sports a lot. Uh, when, uh, him and Max Kellerman and stuff like that. He yeah. used to come on. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. him a lot from that. Oh, he was he a beast. Who, who and Anybody in the boxing game that you met, and then you were like, oh, this motherfucker legit and cool as fuck. Or, or not even on that note. Somebody you probably was starstruck by when you met him. Adrian Bronner. <laughs> hey, For real? Man, Adrian Bronner, gave, Adrian Bronner gave him a handshake. He in the hotel. I'm like, bro, I ain't never washing my hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was on top at one point. Bro, he was, was next up. Adrian Bronner made that shit fun, though. Yeah, he did. Nah, he did. He did. Man, man when he got out of the car doing that. <laughs> the can, man. Yeah. Nah, I mean, Adrian Bronner was rapping, and I was like, bro, I'll fuck with this thing. <laughs> bro, when he did that can, man, and then when he, oh boy, the white man, when he cussed his ass oh, out. Yeah. He said, I'll knock you out, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, AB probably was when I got starstruck with. Yeah. He, right. He's funny, he was there, he laughing. Because he didn't already met him and shit. Uh -huh. I'm like, man, AB ain't shit. I'm like, bro, hey, <laughs> nigga. I don't yeah. Give a fuck. Yeah, he just, uh, so if it went AB for him, who, who it was for you? Uh, shit. Probably had to go with Floyd. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I seen right. Floyd, I was in the back room, and um, I just he walked in to go shake up everybody. And man, I ain't gonna lie, I was sitting there like, damn, this Floyd, and that was it. He though. dapped everybody up. Yeah, he dapped everybody. Cool. That nigga be about oh, four, cool. five niggas. It's like seven feet, bro. That shit yeah, crazy. Dressed in all black. Yeah, yeah I done ready. seen him before. Yeah, that's ready. the boxer who made him starstruck. Nah. Rod Wave had this nigga starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the concert crying and shit. <laughs> and I'm, and, oh, that was last year, but I'm going, I'm going again tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, that Rod Wade. Hey, yo, like, Rod Wade, that's my dog. Bro, you know how, like, you... I got kids, man. My kids be listening to it, so it's like, you know, I like a few Rod Wade songs, because they, they don't put, you know what I mean? Yeah. Put them in rotation. Yeah. But, like, bro, I didn't know, like, he had that type of impact. I'm watching concerts. Motherfucker, he ain't said shit. He just came out. And these <laughs> bitches, word for word. Oh, crazy. I said, bro, this is different. I ain't gonna lie, this concert is different. So I was like, I gotta go again tomorrow. I went yeah. last year, it was smooth. I said, I'll go one more time for him. I'll fuck with dog. He go hard, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, shit, I pr- appreciate y'all, boy, pushing up. Just talk. You know what I mean? Talk. You know what I mean? You ain't got yeah, a, yeah. ain't no professional interview. Yeah, yeah. If y'all niggas <laughs> wanted to come in here and say y'all want to whoop a nigga ass, man, <laughs> you ain't, you ain't got to call a nigga out on the show, but we just yeah. talk about it. Yeah, for real. So yeah. we going to find that nigga you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, we pushing up on a Friday. Pushing oh, for real? Friday. Yeah. Where y'all going to be at? Oh, uh, we going to go to Orlando, uh, Jake Paul fight. And dude, right. find on the other card. We pushing up on him. Pushing Wait, on him. Nah, I mean, you can at least tell us this. What you gonna say to him? What you said? Uh, what I'm saying? I don't even know. I'm just he don't like conversation. I like conversation. He like conversation. I just I've been with him. You gonna feel me like Paul? So you know so, but you can't hit the nigga though. Nah, I mean, nah. If he get, if he get crazy, he gonna. You know what I'm saying? After the fight, I, y'all don't get y'all get fine and shit, can't you? Man, listen, nah. st- <laughs> 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 I ain't going for that. You know what I'm saying? Get crazy. Oh, he must did some real disrespectful shit. Nah, but it's like it, you could just bump a nigga or something like that. It wasn't too disrespectful. Just like if you had a, the heart to even do that, would you send a contract and all? Dude, that? just feeling himself right now. He feeling himself. Yeah. So you know what? Bring him down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Time for that. Yeah. yeah. Friday, nigga, you gonna see it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, I appreciate y'all. Anything y'all want to shout out or just? Know what I mean, yeah. but, I can't. I can't really talk about it right now because it's still. Go ahead he on that drive. police ass <laughs> shit, <Nah>. man. <laughs> yeah. if, if if I know you trying to, I just yeah, but I'm saying through. I would have did that if it, we. I know he couldn't talk about this <laughs> shit, nigga. That's why I ain't bring it up. So we just trying to. Don't worry about that, bro. Nah, he good, he good. fuck up every week. <laughs> That's my dog, man. Yeah, hey, so you should know you <laughs> fuck up every week. Yeah. Anything just, y'all want to shout out though? Hey man, just shout out to y'all for having us on the show. I really yeah, appreciate sure. y'all. Uh, Next year, March, both of us will, will be back. You feel mm-hmm. me? Big fights coming up, and we'll keep y'all tuned. So y'all training? We ain't training after right after New Year. It's yeah. like locked in. January fifteenth. January fifteenth, y'all back in. All right, yeah. man. Appreciate y'all coming through. Yeah. We got the Michael Trigger Man Harris. We got motherfucking Mac Truck. Yeah. Like your coach said, we ain't gotta say that whole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Nell Green. It's been broken. Play. That's a cut.